$15 is a joke. There's three kinds of money today. One is God's money. And then there's government money, which is fiat currency, which is the dollar, the yen, the peso, the euro. Then there's fake assets, which was another part of the fake millennial, the fake generation series. The reason I call it God's money is you can't fake it. When I first started buying that, that was $1.40. Today, that's $16. And this here is auto, gold. Why did I say it's God's money? Because it was here when the earth was created and it'll be here when we're all dead and gone. When you're saving those fake dollars, this will still be here. If you look at what happened with the fake central bank, see the purpose of the central bank or the Fed or all the Japanese, the Bank of Japan, or the European Central Bank, they pump out fake money. The purpose of central banks like the Fed is to protect the banks, not you. They're a criminal operation as far as I'm concerned. You're going to find that most of my talks is about the Fed. I would recommend you guys buy this stuff. Don't save money. Don't save government money because they're corrupt as hell, as you know. Save God's money. So today, that's a uh, spot today is around $1,600 US. Now, this is the difference. Is gold more expensive in Mexico or in America? More expensive in Mexico. If you live in a country like Argentina, it's more expensive because the price, the spot price is relative to the currency of the country. So the people, I was just in Argentina, if they had saved this, they'd be okay today. But they saved pesos, the same as in Mexico, okay? Same as in Peru. This is relative to government money. So you look at why silver could be the best investment of all, look at what's happening. Silver demand, is getting higher. Silver fabrication demand in China is at record high. Look at this whole thing in 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011. It never stopped. Even though the world economy never nearly crashed, demand for silver kept going up because silver is an industrial metal. It's used in industry. Look at this, the global government silver inventories. It's going down. Everybody's buying gold now. And so what's happening, the silver is going down in quantity because they burn it up in industry. It's always disappearing where this is saved. It's almost half of the all silver mine is in landfills. Talk about a waste of things. Every day, the amount of silver produced is being thrown away. The price will always go up and down, but you have to look at the inventory supplies of it. This is for kings. This is for the rich. I can spend this all day long. The stock market is an all-time high. Would you want to get in now? Look at housing. You guys always complain, oh, I can't afford a house. Well, wait till it crashes, then you buy a house, right? Right now, look at the stock market, all-time high. Real estate's an all-time high. Your phony education is an all-time high. Everything look at medical high. costs, at all-time high. And these phony, fake financial planners are telling you to invest for the long term when the market's at all time high. And what blew it into the bubble was the Fed. Mm -hmm. The Fed kept printing money, it just kept blowing it in this bubble. So meanwhile, little silver, it's $15 on this chart here. It used to be as high as 50. Do you know, $15 is a joke. If you buy silver today at 15, in 10 years, it'll be worth 100. Because they keep burning it up, they keep yeah. demanding it. So would you rather save the dollar, which is going down, or save silver, which is going up? Can you afford $20 today? Everybody in the world can, but they don't have the discipline. When you watch those videos, where was your mind?